what is up you guys it's just for you for guy with it and i am back okay except for i am not back with another read this time i am back with a let's talk about it um robe chat i don't know i kind of want to start videos just like in my robe where we just talk and we get comfortable we create like a comfortable space both physically miss mentally and emotionally to kind of just show up for one another to talk to one another um and stuff like that so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and talk about it um today's topic is going to be be the victor not the victim okay so god told me to tell y'all that you ain't the victim boo like God sent them. Like a lot of the times, people say like, "Oh, the devil trying to get me today," and the devil did this, and the devil did giving the devil a whole lot of credit. When I feel like God sent the devil, or God sent those enemies, or God sent whatever lesson was meant for you to be learned. So that's pretty much the gist of today's video. It's going to be about um, the people that God will send into your life and why okay so we finna go ahead and spark up i just got a half a blunt that i was already smoking earlier this morning um it is now going on 10 o'clock it is 9 40. my grandbaby keep falling so i'm gonna go ahead and put her on my lap where y'all can't see her after i'm put her behind me so she ain't exposed to grown folks this but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and spark up if you got a blend if you got some wine if you got some water some juice a spiritual cleanse some tea food popcorn snacks whatever go ahead and grab because we finna talk about it okay so yeah okay so i guess y'all know i like to tell y'all where my topic came from like how i got on it okay so I told y'all that I was done dating right now. I don't want to date and stuff like that. Um, but I was going over the men that I have dated in the last year. And I'm like, okay. The men have increasingly been getting better. Like, it's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, not me blushing. Girl, I'm fine. But the men, the men who I've come in contact with, like, it's just... it's making me want to love on myself so much more because i honestly see a difference um i haven't been like i said i haven't been dating but i also haven't been dating friend wise like i haven't been trying to make new friends i haven't been in that space um with just meeting new people and connecting in general just because I'm just tired right now like i want those connections but at the same time i want to be a magnet to certain things i want to attract what wants me type energy right so at this point i kind of, i won't say i've given up but i've just kind of stopped certain things i've kind of just been like if we kick it we kick it girl like if it takes me you take me if i take you i take you like it's kind of just been what it is so When I was kind of in my meditation the other day, I'm like, damn, the last dude I was talking to or dating, uh, we prayed together. Like, we prayed together. We meditated together in the morning. He worked third shift, so, so it would be like when we link up in the morning, we finna pray together before we take a nap. We finna give it a meditate. And you know, the words. Oh. And one of the dudes that I used to talk to that I used to kick it with, um, he ended up pulling up on me yesterday to bring me some smoke. And we just got to talking and it's just like his businesses are flourishing. Like he decided instead of hustling, I want to do this. So a lot of like, it just made me feel good getting out his car being like, cause I had him take me to the, take me to go get some. But it just made me feel good getting out the car being like, damn, like even though, you know, we fucked with each other, I consider you a friend like I'm glad that I knew you type shit like you know type situation like oh me 
I could never be friends with none of my exes. I could, even if we talk, even if I just liked you or I wrote you on Instagram and you didn't write me back or something like that, but you are blocked. Like, I don't do rejection very well. So, you know, like, if we don't work out or whatever, I'm kind of ghost. Like, I'm gone. But in the last couple situations, I've been realizing, even if me and that person don't work out, these have been some mature, some grown-ass, some real-ass niggas. Like, even if they ain't for me, they for somebody. But, damn, like, it makes me feel good. So, it's like... It's giving me the oomph to, like not want to give up like not get stuck in the oh i'm gonna isolate myself i'm not gonna date i'm not gonna have friends i'm not gonna kick it with the friends that i do have because i don't trust like the self-isolation that i was doing no longer works as a healing tool because it blinds me when i'm by myself i feel so healed like i don't be get, I, girl you smell a lot <laughs> My anger does not last long. Um, my temper is not where it used to be. I be at peace, like especially when I'm just in my house, when I'm by myself, when I'm not texting nobody all day, when I don't feel obligated, and that's the thing. I hate feeling obligated to text friends. You know, it's like, dang, like we when we link up, we gonna link up, but like I don't text. So it'd be like the obligation or like the little shit that be coming with it that kind of keep me from doing it. But I've been realizing, like, as I become better, even my experiences, like, even if they're not the best experiences or even if they're not my forever experiences, they are getting better and better and better. So it's like, basically, everybody has highs and lows. We all experience that. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Every time she's going wrong in your life, God come around with an alley hoop and there's a blessing, you know? Every time you think everything's going all right, the sitter gonna cancel or they not gonna get canceled or this is gonna happen or that's gonna happen or the tire gonna bust like something so i've been just realizing like i don't want to isolate and i'm not saying i want to date again but like i don't want to isolate so i don't want to be in the house so much now that i got this house i don't want to live how i lived in my other house i want to learn the lesson i want to get out like yeah i can appreciate my home but i want to get out i want to be in the world i want to be around people i want to be around y'all i want to fail I want to fuck up because it's teaching me it's teaching me to be better so the reason why i said be the victor and not the victim is because if you are anything like me because i noticed that one thing i'd be like people be like and it'd be like nah let's not talk about nobody else but yourself period so it'd be like If you're anything like me i kind of be a victim a lot or i'm always feeling like especially like as an empath like something was done to me or i always take things really really personal like this person did that to me this person fucked me up or this person did that and i don't know if it's and i'm real good with having accountability maybe not in the very moment but when i get home or when i sit by myself or maybe an hour or two later i'm gonna be responsible for what i did i'm gonna know my part maybe not the whole part unless you talk to me about it but god gonna talk to me about it period but i always be like what did i do to deserve this why did this person cheat at me why did this friend uh talk to my nigga why did this person backstab me why did this family member say i'm crazy i don't know all this shit that i just be feeling like oh whoa it's me type shit but like god been showing me like no like I seen you reflections of you or I seen you I see you test it's like you ask me you say you want a friend but you didn't tell me what kind of friend you just said you want a friend okay I'm finna here you go now I'm kicking it with this friend I'm realizing damn she don't even discipline her daughter Yo, your daughter hitting my daughter or being naughty or being bad, doing little slick shit that kids shouldn't even be thinking about or doing. And your kid is a reflection of you, so now I'm looking at you. And now, okay, like, I'm trying to communicate with you. You're not communicating back. We having misunderstandings or this ain't happening or that ain't happening, whatever the case may be. 
And it's just like, do you want a friend so bad that you're gonna allow X, Y, and Z to, to keep happening? Mind you, ain't nobody tell you to like cut, cut nobody you off like ASAP. Ain't nobody do that. But I feel like what God has been showing me is that people only love you where you at. Like people are only gonna treat you how you allow them to treat you. So niggas will come in my life and I'll be thinking like, damn, how this nigga just wanna fuck me? Like, do I give off? I just, I, I'm just worth fucking. So then I'm talking to a nigga for a couple months and realize like, nigga, you don't want commitment. You don't even wanna be dating because you ain't took me on our am date. But you're giving me time. So I told God I wanted a little boo or something like that, you know, whatever. So it's like, you get the shit. And it's like, do you love yourself enough to to weed out who's supposed to be there versus who not? Who make your spirit feel good versus who don't? Who even when they're not making your spirit feel good, you still feel the love for them or that you still crave them or you still need them or you still respect them or um, you still trust their opinions or, you know, whatever the case may be. So all these people coming in my life, but all these people been leaving my life. And I saw this post on Instagram that was like, um, people please, people who grew up as people pleasers are now in their villain era when the villain era is really just setting boundaries. If I could say me in a meme, like I've been feeling like I'm in my villain era. Like y'all have seen it. I've posted videos where I'm always blaming myself about like why niggas stop talking to me or why this happened or why that happened or and yes, it's taking accountability, it's cool. But at the same time, it's like, if somebody can't handle it, even if it's a friend, like if y'all don't really move the same, if y'all not maturing at the same level and everybody don't gotta be at the same level, you can have a friend you've been friends with for 20 plus years and y'all complete opposites. Y'all do different shit, y'all move different think different, feel different, all that kind of stuff, but at the same time, y'all vibe and y'all kick y'all got a connection. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you no longer connect with a certain person based off of your boundaries. Shit, or theirs. Or theirs. Because I've been realizing, like, maybe I've crossed people's boundaries. And maybe their self-love was not fucking with me or not dealing with me like I'm pretty sure some of my friends had issues with me or some of the people I don't talk to no more like they had issues with me. I don't know because we ain't really communicate about it. But it's just like, dang, like, I can't always be the victim. All I can do is look at why that person is in my life, analyze that shit. That's what I do now. I analyze it. I ask God before I move forward with any friend, with any person who's writing me, oh, girl, we should kick it. We should link up just because they like me on Instagram. I ask God about it. And if you don't get a reply, if me and a nigga been texting and I ask God, like, will he on with me? And God say, mm-mm, baby, I'm not going to feel better about not texting you. I don't care if it was blunt. I don't care if it seemed like I ghosted you. Like, if I ask God about it and it don't sit right in my spirit and my soul, that, that's it. If you got me thinking, oh, okay, I could just pull up on her and we smoke and that's enough and I let you think that, then that's on me. Then I get to be the victim. Oh, what was me, he ain't made me his girlfriend, but what am I accepting? I, I have, I'm not even making this nigga court me or take me out on dates or. So now I'm choosing to be the victor, where it's like I can, I'm victorious because I can see this as a lesson. It don't gotta be I failed or I fucked up or I did this or I did that or they did this or they did that or they was in the wrong or I, it don't gotta be none of that. It could just be I realized my lesson with this person and I don't necessarily like not being courted. And I don't wanna stick around, especially like if you have a conversation. So let's say you have a conversation with a boss or something like that where you kinda just like shit, I don't I can't work these hours like i got a kid i gotta do x y and z on this this day this day that day and you keep scheduling me like that's you know it's inappropriate or i can't i can't make that happen and the next week come and you got the same issue at that point which i'm quitting 
because I already communicated with you my needs. I already told you what was up. And if you valued my work, if you valued who I am or what I got going on, you would have made some shit shake. You obviously value me because you're scheduling me all the fucking time. My thing is, do you value me enough to keep me here? To keep me around? Friendships, lovers, bosses, uh, business partnerships, connections, random strangers, whoever. Even like strangers. Like now I got boundaries. Look at on whistle at me. A me. Uh, you should smile. Like... Even at work, if if I speak to you and you don't speak back, baby, we got to exchange energy at this point because I'm on what you want. And I know people say we should match energy, but why not? Treat others how you want to be treated, right? I could kill you with kindness, but baby, I don't really want to kill you. That ain't my goal. I just want to be a reflection of you. I want to show you how you treated me because maybe you don't need to treat the other person like that. That, that needs to be the lesson so if i can learn my lesson right in the middle of this situation going on bitch you gonna learn your lesson too through me because i dare you <laughs> that's like i don't know lately it's just been like i want to be victorious like i want to be the winner like i just and not in any competition or any race but like i just want a prize i want a prize i won that lesson I feel good about myself because I ain't stick around with the nigga who didn't want to court me. I feel good about myself because I ain't stick around at the nine to five that wasn't even paying me enough but was working me like a dog. Or I feel good about myself if I um, let go of my 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 favorite movie subscription because I knew I needed to save up for my baby birthday party. I don't know, but it's like at some point you gotta choose to be the winner. You gotta choose you, and choosing you doesn't always equal isolation. You know, like, I'm learning that, like, you gotta get in the game. Like, you gotta get in the game. You can't just sit out because, or, you know, throw a temper tantrum. Oh, I'm gonna punish people by not giving them my energy. Like, you can't, like, I'm gonna make you feel the type of energy. Like, all of that, that was me. And it's just like, that's too much energy exertion for me. I can't, I don't want to. I can't, let me not say I can't. I can't, I don't want to though. I don't want to be in that space of what is me. Like, I've grown so far past that that it's just like, every loss is a win. <laughs> every person who leaves my life, every, every car that breaks down on me, every failed client who don't really book every dollar lost every money spent on a house that i don't own i just be like okay because whatever is gonna replace that i know is coming back tempo and i know it's something that i attract it even if it's bad even if it's karma at some point i'll be like did you probably deserve that i ain't gonna lie to you like and i'm able to say that or i'm able to be in that to know that I think that's gonna be it for you yeah i think that's gonna be it for today um i think that's gonna be it for you guys i don't know what i was gonna say or why that came out like that but yeah be the victor period i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below share it on all your social media